Rolling Stone magazine released their pick for best rap song of 2023. And it goes to none other. Hold on, let me take a drink. This is some bullshit. I'm finna go. Oh. Tonight was my last show. I'm finna go. I don't want to do this, y'all. I don't want to do this. I don't want to. This is back to back trauma for me here. Y'all gonna stop talking about my friend. Song of the year goes to Sexy Red's hit song. Hee <laughs> Other songs on the list were Lotto and Cardi B's Put It On The Floor at number two. And number three went to Ice Spice with Deli. Shaking ass in the deli. What are your thoughts? Where's my razor blade? Wait, <laughs> the wait. world, listen. <laughs> let, me, let me start out at, and first say this. Um, I am happy for anybody who comes from the hood, comes from the bottom, comes from whatever, and is now living this awesome, magical life. Like, I'm sure Sexy Red is, like, mentally in a space that she never thought she would be in in a billion years, okay? Period, hard stop. On the flip side of things, I'm also disappointed that you know, sexy red, booty hole brown, coochie pink, you know, and ski -y, that society has just gravitated so hard to this and, and propelled this type of, you know, ratchetry and, and, and ignorance to roll. Like, what are, what are we truly saying to the youth that in how long sexy red been out? Six months, eight months? In in a year's time, she's Rolling Stone number one for this. Like, what are the, what messages are we really sending, y'all? And I hate to make it about race. Nobody else's community gets degraded the way ours does, and it gets praised like that. That's the thing that bothers me. Where is the trailer trash? hillbilly that's singing about the tobacco snoot the tobacco chewing snuff toting rifle carrying hillbillies in the trailer park where are they and they're rolling stone number one where is the asian that that that's gang banging in in, in the bay area where is where where are they on the front of time magazine and rolling stone with their music it's just us and i don't like that and so D'Angelo said, laugh in my A off. I heard white people play sexy red all year, so I definitely believe this. And Aries 88 said, there are there, these are entertainers. They don't have to raise y'all kids. Stop it. Al, what do you think? Well, you know, I like sexy red and all her antics. I do. But honestly, guys, think about it. I threw Rolling Stone and what they thought out the window when they put Harry Styles on the cover and called him the king of pop. They lost all credibility as far as I'm concerned when they started doing crazy stuff like that. But I will, I have to congratulate sexy red. Sexy red, uh, as far as female rappers, listen, she's trumped Nicki Minaj, she's trumped Cardi B, she's trumped Megan Thee Stallion, she's trumped Little Kim, all of them. Congratulations, young lady. Go, go, bass in your in your award and in your ranking or or your your vote or whatever. And the thing I want to know though is what type of gift did your record label give you for this right here? Because I know you got some diamonds for this. Listen, I know it's gonna come off as hating because we're older. This isn't our. We're not in their dem her demographic. As far as someone making it from, you know, making the most of what they got. Hell yeah, sexy. You did that. And if I was 20, 30 years old, I'd probably be right along with it. I'd be one of your biggest fans. Do I bump your stuff sometimes? Low key, I have. Low key, I put a song up with 41 and sexy the other day, these young cats, and there's a part, when are we effing again? Hey, like I liked it. It's like drill, right? And I find myself saying it, but the adult in me, the talk show house host, the seasoned individual, the adults, the proud black woman that's supposed to be on Elevated. I'm like, God damn, because like, after Sexy, there's got to be another one that outdoes her, which I think I saw a girl. The period, like, girl. That you say, yeah, 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 she made a song, Run a Red Light, and it had a video with a tampon string hanging out of her coochie. So where does it end? Are we going to start showing people on the toilet taking a dump? 
you know, and I just get worried about the slippery slope. Now for sexy, hell yeah, I'm real happy for you. I'm real happy for you. You did your thing and you're a working mother and you I look like you got it. Honestly, it looks like you're being authentically you. It does not seem like sexy is trying to play a character. It seemed like that's just her. My girl, um, L'Oreal, on The Morning Hustle, she loves her. She says she's so real, and she really, like, she relates to her because of that. I get that. She's also 12 years younger than me. But I just wish we had some balance, too. You know what I mean? Like, I, I kind of, maybe I'm just, this is my age. I, I was watching a Unity the other day. It was like Queen Latifah was on there, Moni Love. And I was like, the difference between, who you calling that bitch? And she like, lick my pussy. Like, you know, it's just like, it, yeah. we've come a long way, y'all. We've come yeah. a long way. Huh, all right. F it. I'm old. We old. We A. Hey, it is what it is. You all are going to get there if you're lucky.